Welcome to Bellevue.com. I'm Yekta, your host, giving you the latest and greatest information going on around Bellevue. Today we will be talking to Alan Foley about his art piece, Tower of Power, and City of Bellevue's art specialist, Mary Pat Byrne, about Bellwether, an event going on until October 12th. Yeah. So Mary Pat, tell us yeah. about Bellwether. Thank you for asking. Bellwether is a, a three-month exhibition of sculpture and art installations. We have indoor work, we have outdoor work, we have sculptures, and we have really interesting installations that have been created especially for us by artists who live in the Northwest and Canada and other places across the U.S. Okay, we're here today with Alan Foley who has created this wonderful masterpiece called Tower of Power. Alan, please tell us, what does Tower of Power mean and what materials did you use in making this piece? Well, Tower of Power is a symbolic reference to many towers that we have in different cultures, different religions. Uh, towers are the embodiment of our aspirations of architecture and trying to get off the ground and into the air and into heaven. Um, so this piece is a amalgam of different materials that have been sourced from construction sites uh, and also my, some of my other outdoor pieces. Right now we are at the Bellevue Arts Museum to get the scoop on the upcoming arts fair on July 25th, 26th and 27th right here in downtown Bellevue. The Arts Fair is one of three arts festivals happening during Bellevue Arts Week. The Bellevue Sixth Street Fair and of course the Bellevue Festival of Arts are the other two participants. Let's go inside and speak to Meredith Anderson, Senior Events Manager for the museum and local artist Arunas Oshlapas who will be showing his art at the Arts Festival. Okay, so here, we're here today with Meredith, and uh, Meredith, please tell us about the Bellevue Arts Festival, how long it's been going on, and how it's grown over the years. Yeah, so um, the BAM Arts Fair started in 1947, so we're 68 years young. There's so thousands of people here, and our community is growing so much, it's really kind of interesting to see how much this has become part of our community. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean that all the artists are local, or do they come from um, other states? Yeah, no, so we actually have a largely national show. I mean, we, we are really prided on the fact that we do have a lot of um, artists from in-state or just northwest in the show, um, but we have a primarily national show. We want something for adults, and we want something for the kids and the youth and stuff. So basically, we have um, a kids' fair. So we usually get about 10 to 12,000 kids who come through the museum. We have really cool projects, um, anything ranging from like carp kites to different origami projects, because that's what we have going on in the museum right now. Our show is in conjunction with two other arts and crafts festivals that are going on at the same time. So we really shut down downtown Bellevue, or I guess open it up, but we have a little over 300,000 people that'll be making their way through throughout the three-day event. Wow, that's a lot of people. Awesome. Well, thank you, Meredith. You're welcome. Okay, so um, Arunas, tell us where are you from? I live in Bellingham, Washington, where I'm a full-time professor uh, at Western Washington University, and during the summers, I'm a full-time artist. Wow, that's, a, that's actually really awesome. That's very unique to, to do such a thing. Thanks. Please uh, tell us, what medium do you use to create? I, I like to use uh, metal banding, and it begins in the baskets. Um, these are the straps that lumber yards use to strap anything on a pallet uh, in a crate. Anyway, these bands are used uh, for one direction uh, or for shipping an item in one direction, and when the shipment arrives, they're cut off and thrown out. So I collect the metal, I straighten it out, paint it, and then I leave it to oxidize for about a year. And when it's ready, I will weave it into the baskets. And tell us about this, the art pieces that you've brought in today. Well, there's two uh, metal quilts, small ones. I typically do ones that are more abstract, that are about color and pattern and repetition. And I also do thematic pieces like the baseball player. And um, he, the baseball player is actually an old die cast or a cast iron bank. And um, I'll collect old license plates and memorabilia and, and, and put a theme to it. This is one of my latest pieces here. And it's, it's an abstract piece, again, using found uh, metal strips. Um, I add the color 
uh, distress the, and scratch and scrape. My children will smack the metal on the ground. <laughs> um, and then again, I like to leave it outside to add that little bit of patina that comes from the humidity and the moisture. I love these pieces, especially the baskets. Make sure to check out Bellevue.com for all the latest happenings in Bellevue. Until then, I'm Yekta for Bellevue.com.